LinkedIn Live. Welcome, welcome, and TikTok. Welcome to our beautiful TikTokers, and welcome to our Saturday night phone in. Now, we have lots and lots to discuss tonight, so I hope you'll get to the telephones as soon as you possibly can, and we can have a word with you and see where you're actually coming from in all this. Very, very important, I say to you. Uh, let's get everybody notified, of course. Well done, TikTok. Thank you for joining us. Always good to have you with us. Some of you are really, really on the ball, and you should have your notifications by now to let us know what is what. Now, I can change the numbers about, let you see them there. There we go, along the bottom of the screen. You should have your number now, and you can get to the telephones when we go live on the phones. Uh, hello, my best friend, says Martin. Oh, Martin, that's high praise indeed, a bestie. Good evening all, says Suzanne. Beachy, beachy. Good evening, Scotty La. Good evening, beachy, beachy La. Opinions of COVID-19, Aaron, we do not discuss the pandemic at all. That's the whole reason d'etre, the raison d'etre for this is that we are lighthearted. We leave the pandemic at the mainstream media. So you'll never hear that being discussed on here. Evening all, dinky do, dinky do, says Karim Zachariah. Fantastic stuff. Good evening, Scotty, says the wonderful Neil O'Gonley. If I remember right, Neil is down in Darzit. There we are, fantastic Darzit. Uh, looking forward to tonight's show, says Elise. Hello to everyone. Hello, Elise. In the north of England, I believe. Hello, Mr. Man. Hello, user Dinky Doo Scotty. You gorgeous man. Thank you very much. You are very, very kind, I say to you. Uh, Suzanne talking to Susan. That's excellent. Everybody's having a weak conversation amongst themselves. That's what we like. Now, last night's phone in was another outstanding milestone. We're well into week six now, week six. And you will see that we are into 54 of our phone ins. Number 54. Fantastic. Dinky do. Here, here, read the pandemic. Absolutely, Jerry. You can put on the mainstream media anytime and hear all about the pandemic. We do not, do not discuss that here on Scotty McClure's phone in. We want to know if people have survived. We want to know if people's humor has survived. We want to know if their light Hearted chat has survived. There are big, big issues out there that we can be talking about. Alan Brown, greetings and dinky do from Washington. Alan's watching in Washington. Alan, the consensus on here seems to be that you'll be getting the Donald back in 2025 to make America great again. Always enjoy your shows. I thank you, Alan. It's so much appreciated. Now, guys, how do we get the YouTube subscriber numbers up? Let's make tonight an absolute watershed. Is the subscribe button, uh, is it obvious when you go on to the YouTube channel? Can you see it there? It's up at the top to the right, and there should be one on the current video. But uh, we need to get that up. Fantastic stuff. Dinky do. Kraken, lovely to have you with us with a key. Dinky do. Dinky do, keep up the good work. Wayne from Liverpool. Wayne, we love you in Liverpool. And Dinky do, fantastic. There we are. Hello, everybody. Dinky do, Dinky do. Billy. Billy Stocks. Dinky do from Scotty McClure. Is the phone still on? You just reminded me to check there. I'll just see that we're all fired up in the phones and uh, we can get your calls. There we go. Just check that everything's working here. Oh, yes. Now you are talking. Right. There we go. If you're wanting to phone up. There we go. It's on. The game's on. Good evening. You're live in Scottish phone in. Who's that? Thank you, dear Scotty. It's Kareem here. Ah, oh, Kareem, well done for getting through first. Were you <laughs> trying and trying? I was, yes. yes Good, I well, was, you've Scotty. made it. That is fantastic. And there's Kevin saying, Hi, Scotty, I've made it. Andrew Mackay says, Good evening, dinky do. And Thomas Thank says, Hello, pal. I hope you've had a good day. That's fantastic, yes. Kareem. And since you've yeah. come on, the calls are piling up. Isn't that brilliant? <laughs> Excellent, Scott. No, it was a nice day today. Um, obviously, tonight's a bit wetter, but I got out with the dogs. 
Wonderful, wonderful, absolutely, Kareem. Last night was the most outstanding phone in, and I was so um absolutely humbled by Danny's call from Bill or Ricky, you know, yes. about uh, about Sir David Amos's uh, yeah. passing, you know. Yeah, very, very honourable and a good paying tribute towards him as well. Um, it was nice for him to phone. It was. It was just. Uh, it was just very interesting. And yes. um, I, I think that probably what we set out to do with the phone-in is uh, now happening. Yeah, I mean, it's getting busier, Scott, and, and these things take time to pick up, as, as sure. you've, you've always said. And well, six weeks, up. six weeks in the scale of things, six weeks with so much media around that people yeah. have to wade through to find something they want. Six weeks with no advertising budget for the programme. Yeah. You know, I yeah, mean, no, it's I... it's that sort of thing. So I'm delighted with the way things are going, Kareem. I am not in any way um, anxious or despondent or anything no. like that. It'll take a real shoulder to the wheel. But yeah. I'm just wondering, is the subscribe button obvious enough on the YouTube channel? Well, as I said yesterday, you got a video up on YouTube about the, the, the subscribe button, but yes. I would probably do a bit more of that as well, just to, to show people, because, you know, sometimes when they update the, the, or the websites or whatever, things change. Like, I was in TikTok earlier on, and I was trying to find a way to delete things. I figured that out, but, you know, just bit, things like that, people get a bit confused at. I see what you mean. Now, the other thing, maybe you'll do me a massive favour, Kareem, and just check that subscribe button to see if uh -huh. maybe we're needing another one or a larger one or, or whatever. Yeah. Because yeah. I know people are asked all the time to subscribe, but I think it's pivotal on something yeah. like the internet phone in. Yeah, yeah. You know? No, I'll do, I'll definitely do a recheck, but I know I am subscribed, but oh, you'll for people be subscribed. that don't, no the internet that well, Scotty, or YouTube, then yeah. it should be a bit confusing. Yes, and I think the wee video, as I say, it's only 10 seconds, but it just yep. says to people, all you've been asked to do is join us for the phone in, subscribe and tap the bell, you'll get your notifications. Absolutely, yep, and that's it, all, all set to go. All set to go. <laughs> now then, uh, have we got a mainstream topic you would like to run past the nations? The, nothing... Too political tonight again. Um, that well, two things. First thing about I know that about the the, the monarchy. Um, that I was reading that the Queen was getting a bit irritated with the response to the world with the climate, so she's yes. wanting to speed it up. Yes, that's, that's interesting. You know, uh, but the second thing was to finish my point last night because I phoned. I think it was a couple of minutes before did. the show finished. Yes. With the fireworks. Yes, that was a that was an amazing point. The fireworks. No, uh, the bottom line is I think that we should set about uh, banning the fireworks for ordinary people and have yeah. your displays only. Yeah, yeah, I think so as well in terms of safety and for dogs. So no matter when the fireworks start to go off, the the, the older ones is absolutely terrified. It's not only that, I mean, you said a lovely thing, we'll not mention any names, but you said about an hotel setting off a display. Now, the other yes. thing is that an hotel, a big country house hotel, is probably in the middle of several farms. Yes. So there could uh -huh. be cows, sheep, llamas, horses, mm -hmm. everything just sent bananas with this sudden incredible sound. Yeah, yeah, and... It's um, a lot of the animals at this time of the year are absolutely terrified, and it's it's a shame. And, and I think of foxes. I know a lot of people don't like foxes. I do like foxes, but they must be absolutely terrified here that every night as well. Oh yes, I mean absolutely. I don't know if I told you the story about picking a couple up from America, um, right. and and I was to take them somewhere, and they said to me, um, you know about. Uh, what family did I have? And I was explaining to them about the Labrador. Uh -huh. And they said, oh, yes, how's he? And uh, I said, well, he's great. I said, yeah. uh, he's had, I said, you'll not know what this is, but he's had a fibrocartilaginous embolism. I right. said, but I tend to tell people it's a stroke. And she said, no, no, I know exactly what that is. I'm a veterinarian. Right. 
right, okay. So she, she, had, she had a veterinarian practice in New York. Okay. And she said to me, um, how is he otherwise? I said, he's great. I said, the only thing is he started biting a paw. Yeah, and right. she said, that sounds like stress to me. I can't imagine any animal being stressed living with you. And I said, well, thank you. I would hope not. She said, yeah. has there been any construction work near your home? And I uh -huh. thought, no, not, not to my knowledge. And then I said, yeah. oh, wait a minute. Very close to my house, a public building's been totally refurbished. Okay. And what, of course, I wasn't realizing when I was out, the dog would be hearing thud on the ground. Yeah. And the ground would be shaking and he'd be thinking, what's happening to my life? He would yeah. be hearing these uh, big earth-moving trucks with yeah. alarms going off and beep, 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 beep. Yeah. And I thought, that's what's done it. Now, we don't always see what's around us. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Interesting. The dog's hearing is impeccable. We're in a really strong... Yeah. Um, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, absolutely. Here's Billy he okay saying, that, Scotty? He, what's that? Was he okay after that? He was fine after that. Once they'd finished all that, he was absolutely fine. Everything was fine. And I checked yeah. with the vet. I said, what's this on his paw? He said he's uh -huh. been biting it. Right. right. Okay. So the wee oh. soul a bit like us biting our nails or chewing our fingers. Yeah. Yeah. Just nerves. Just a wee bit uh nerves. That's the stuff. But as I say... Uh, you know, the dog was with me all the time, the one in Manchester, and that wow. knocking over the table at far work time was just incredible. Wow. Yeah, wow. Well, I usually put the radio on. Uh, I might this year put up really, really loud, Scotty McClure in all my rooms, so the dogs yes. can hear you. Yes, the, the dogs, <laughs> that's it, and we'll calm the dogs down. <laughs> I wonder, I'll bet you there's calming music for dogs. Well, there's, a, there's actual um, stations that you can put in the TV that are specifically designed for dogs to watch and to listen to. I love it. Yeah. Uh, know, here's a guy saying he's calling you Korean. He says, Koreans a banger la la. Lovely. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Where do these people come from, Kareem? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, but we send love and positivity. We send huge life. positivity and hope they get well soon. <laughs> Lovely <laughs> talking to you, Dinky Do. Speechy Monday. Have a good day tomorrow. Thanks, Scotty. Kareem. All the best. Night, night, love. Bye -bye. Bye. Top men. That's it. That's Bye. our Kareem. To the telephones, guys. Good evening, Jerry Dinky Do. Hello, pal. Hope you had a good day. Thank you very much. I see BBC television showing a new series on the universe. I ask, who likes these programs? Can we answer, Jerry? Who likes the programs? On the universe. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's Dee. Thank you, Dee. Dee, 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 Dee. What a joy to hear from you. How are you? Oh, right? We're absolutely beside ourselves with this phone in, I'll tell you. It's getting better and better. Isn't Dee, it? this is beyond my wildest dreams. I started this to see if anybody would call. Mm -hmm. And today and is uh, World Radio Day. I know, I know. Thanks. So I put a wee thing up, a wee, um, you know, a wee video and a wee couple of photos from, from my past. Yes. And uh, somebody said, Scotty McClue's now got a phone in on the internet. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Now that's amazing. It's, it is amazing. Yep, from the, from the, um, the good old days in Scotty FM and further afield. Um, yes, because, I mean, you can do person. something for a couple of years and have people still coming on going, oh, is this where you are? I wish I'd known. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> well, I've got, because it's, because it's um, Radio um, Day, International Radio Day. International Radio Day. Yeah, well, I've got a wee thing for you. I was um, looking through all your Scotty FM stuff, ah. all the stuff that I really like. <laughs> you love all that. Oh, absolutely love it. I have anyway. to say, although I say it myself, Scott FM, it was mind blowing radio. It was. It was. It was, it was, it was using. It was it using was the medium D. Ah, uh, definitely. It was just the right era. Just everything was yep. just perfect, perfect. Yeah, big, big, big station, top quality yep. management, all that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you right, know. I've got something for you tonight then, Scotty, since it's go, go. big night tonight, okay, so... Um, the topic of conversation for t- for tonight um, is one I picked out that I heard earlier on one of your wee um, videos, uh, and it was how wives should treat their husbands. Do yes. you remember that? Yes, I do. <laughs> so there was um, the one to buckle my shoe. The one to buckle my shoe, top of the list. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> And then there was the full breakfast. The full breakfast in, in the morning, absolutely. Then, That's your sausage, bacon and egg for you, darling. Yeah. The one two buckle the my shoe was so outstanding last night, you've got extra tatty scones. <laughs> and then there was the courtesy afterwards, which I don't think a lot of the callers took too well to. A curtsy. The curtsy. Yes, curtsy I, think, I think the wife should curtsy to her husband, <laughs> but that would mean the husband should bow to the wife. Well, I think so. I think you know, so. It should be a joint effort. I think. I think <laughs> when he comes home, there should be a wee bow and a curtsy. Okay, okay. We've got to start raising our game, you see, Dee. <laughs> so, you, are, you, are you still in the same frame of mind then? Well, yes, because like the Queen and Prince Philip do all that, or they did. Yeah. You know, I mean, poor Prince Philip's away now, but you know, I oh. mean, the, the, he would give a bow, and she, she would. I don't think she would curtsy to him because she's the Queen. Yeah, but I'm sure there would be a wee order. nod in his general direction. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll be saying something. So maybe if we just ask for a nod in the general direction. And also, sometimes the missus can be a wee bit of a cream puff in the morning because the ladies are <laughs> a wee bit slower to get going. So she kind of bangs the toast down and just not realising yeah. he's watching for how am I doing, you know? <laughs> Oh, well, I just loved that. I loved listening to that. Um, I, was, I was listening to it today, so I said, right, he's getting it tonight. I'm he's going to getting it big it. time for this. But to be honest with you, Dee, there was a lot of stuff in the 50s and even into the early 60s about oh, how you should exactly. look after your man. Yeah, exactly. And how to be a nice um, How to be a good housewife. There was a book, I remember seeing a book years ago, and uh, uh, and. Uh, it was in this um, article I was reading, and some of the stuff was really laughable, really laughable, and um, it was just amazing how some of the wives should be treating their, their husbands. Oh, I'm sure. Treat them like, 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 like a demigod. There's no way. Keep them like a demigod, you know, and keep his tummy full. You see, I wouldn't be surprised yep. if there are men that have affairs not for the one to buckle my shoe, but, um, <laughs> but for food. <laughs> so they might be nipping in the yeah. corner for the full English because the missus doesn't cook first thing in the morning. Well, they do say they meet a man's heart through their the stomach, don't they? So Absolutely. Here's Chris telling us the Good that. Housewives Guide, it was called. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what it was. Now, you that's see, exactly Dee, this might seem a bit sudden, but should we bring these days back? I mean, do the well, women want it as much as the men? Right, well, I'll be totally honest here, right? I'm a, quite a vintage lass. Yes, I mean, let's be up front with each other because that's how you yeah, and I roll, totally, you know? Totally, totally, totally straight. That's how we roll. Right. So I am a very, very um, old-fashioned vintage lass and I love all the 30s, 40s, 50s. Oh, 60s. just a minute. I'll just make so, a note here, my kind of you woman. Just writing this, are you writing this all Oh, day? I'm right. This is quality. <laughs> so... Um, I, I do agree. I mean, if you, I, I do agree that, um, you know, if the woman's in the house and looking after the children and cooking and your husband comes out for work. But, I mean, there's always, I've my husband, he's always that, always, always a pot of soup, pot of soup. on. And, you know, Lovely. No, no, every day, this is but great. he'll have his bowl of soup when he comes in. Oh, this is and great. he'll have his dinner. Um, that's just Maybe a wee bit of steak pie and chips or something. Well, and I, whatever, aye, aye, aye. I mean, quality and stuff, ah. Uh-huh. And, yeah, and are you stuff. quite a dab hand at the stove? I'm constantly at the cooker. I love to cook, actually. Yes, yes, um, yes. Oh, this is so, great. So there's no big dilemma in my house regarding the cooking. No. Um, and the stuff like that and the cleaning and whatever. But um, 
a lot of women will probably disagree with me on here. Well, they might, but there's Beachy not. Beachy saying, I am more like a it's wife a to my yeah, wife than yeah. a husband. Yeah, I've, I've been to work, I've done it all, I've had my... But do, can I tell you, Dee, I think the women were being taken for a ride here. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, and I'll tell you for why. See, feminism, and I know Scotty McClure is the father of feminism, but, yes. um, you know, feminism was actually conning the women into getting them out of the house to bring in more money for the exchequer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And all this Absolutely. stuff no, about yeah. men were getting paid more than women, that's because mm -hmm. they were the main bread earners. Yeah, exactly. You know, and I exactly. think that it's still a con. I mean, I've talked to some pretty high-powered women, and mm -hmm. they've they've told me on the fly, they said, see if you quote me, I'll sack you, you know. But <laughs> uh, they, 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 they've told me on the fly that, you know, although they've, they've loved the journey up the glass ceiling, they wish yeah. they were at home with the wains because they're losing no, out and bringing up their wains. You've just took the words right out of my mouth. It's the kids that suffer. Yes. And uh, their education, everything. And um, you only, you're only in the first one time. Make the most of it. And you need to be there for your children. 100%. Um, and you're not them. doing that by letting them be brought up by their grandparents. Not at all. Not at all. And that's what's um, happening. Let's have it straight. Yeah. Yep, definitely, definitely. I'm going so, to put this out to several nations tonight. Should we yep. get back to traditional roles? The man brings so. home the bacon, the woman mm. pops it into the pan and brings I'm up the wings. I'm 100% behind that all the way. You know? And, and I'm not against feminism. I'm nope. not against people that are. No, but no, I think it's a con. I, do you know what I mean? I mean, if I yeah, had a yeah. bra and some people say I could do with one, um, mm. I would not be burning it. No, <laughs> Do you I, know? Know, I know, definitely, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm the, my vote is definitely women in the house, looking after the house, looking after the children and looking after their husband. Do so you, I'm and that's big. come, and I'm so glad it's come from a lady and not just yeah. any lady, a top lady. Yep, well, thank you very so, much. No, no, so I'm <laughs> now going to stick this right out across the world yeah. and see if we yeah. can get some sensible chat from people. Well, I don't think we will, but we'll see. No, I know, well, <laughs> we'll we haven't see. had up till now, but remember, we've only been doing this 30 years. I know, so there's, I know exactly. I know. There's always hope. Well, people, say, people say, why do you keep doing it, Scott? I says, I've got to do it till I get it right. Oh. Listen, you've got it bang on, bang on. We just need to get everybody to realise it. Oh, listen, I so, can tell you right now, Dee, if everybody knew this was on now, it would be the oh, centre of Mormon. the universe. It would be. It would definitely be. You know, and we'll get money together and we'll get a wee bit YouTube advertising and yeah. see how we go. Yeah, definitely. That's definitely. what it's about. That sounds good. Quality call as usual, Angel, and dinky do. Thank you, and dinky do to you too. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the show. And thank okay, you so much you. for all your support. Ta ra! Thank you. Ta ra! 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 Salted caramel fudge. I don't think I know some of you anymore. You're live in Scottish Funny, who's that? Hello, Scottish. Martin Buddy, how are you? Mate? Martin Buddy, how are you? People will be thinking Buddy's your second name. I know. They'll be calling you Mr. Buddy. Yes, correct. <laughs> the fine, the fine, the fine. I've just found out that the Isle of Man is still smacking people. No. As? It's called the Birch. It's like the... No, it's called the Birch. Uh-huh. I they haven't done that for years, I don't think. Somebody told me they still, um, they, still, they still do it. No, I don't think so. There's a lease telling them it was Gloria Steinem is the name behind the feminism, talking about the feminism. Uh-huh. Um, see these two videos you've done, um, number, 50, number 51 and number 52, are always going to get uploaded in your channel. Uh, which one was that? Which ones? Um, last night and the night before. They're uploaded. Are they? Okay. Yes. I can then tell 
up until it's on. You'll and get them on the YouTube channel, Martin. Are you on the YouTube channel? Yes, I am. I haven't been on it since I've deceived you for... I've been deceived to you since you started, so it's good. It's fabulous. Now, can you tell me, is the subscribe button obvious enough? Yes, it's fine. It's, it's fine. It's, um, it's, um, fine for, uh, it's for fine for... It's for fine for people to see. Right. That. Um, the topic I want to discuss tonight is... Um, uh, I think yeah. Dee's set a pretty high bar tonight, really. Who? Dee that's just been on. Has she? Yeah, she's having none of all this woke nonsense. She thinks people should fulfil their traditional roles. The men bring home the bacon. The women, they cook it up for them. And look after the wains. I think I, I think I agree with that. Well, I definitely agree with that. Yes. Dee says, I love a house smelling of homemade soup. You can't wow. beat it. Oh, I can't even be a good bowl of lentil soup. Oh, now uh, you're talking my language. But stop, Martin. I'm a wee bit peckish. I know. <laughs> I'll be running to the kitchen and popping on a wee lentil soup. I know, but the fine, the fine is you like all the sliced sausage in the fryer. Oh, all love that. all that, love all that, Martin. Same. Yeah, no doubt about it. Absolutely, Martin. I'm going to dash off. Take great care of your dear self, and oh. uh, as we say, dinky do. Dinky do you too, me. Bye. Bye, bye, la. There we are. Great yeah. call, Martin. Very kind of him to come on and give us the chat. Fantastic. Now. There we are, tied to the sink. But, I mean, are you actually tied to the sink or is it a nice place to be? There we go. That's what we're talking about. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's Beachy Beachy. Beachy Beachy. This is quality chat. Uh, it is. It's good. Very good. Um, I just want, I wanted to touch on um, that caller um, regarding... The women, uh, the, the women staying at home. And, the uh, role of the woman and the man traditionally, I mean, we've got ourselves all hung up on thousands of genders and all that, but I suspect there are two genders and then there's perhaps sub-genders. Yeah. I think it's quite difficult nowadays. Billy says, La La Scotty, I'm away to bed, I'm blutered. <laughs> that was me last night. Um, I think it's difficult, obviously, with like house prices and stuff like that. Um, like with one income, trying to get one. Property yeah, but I think the houses are going. The prices would come towards the market. I mean, the house prices when I bought my first house was twice or two and a half times maximum your salary, and everybody managed to get themselves a wee flat or something, even a one room. Yeah. I mean, like, the, the prices were asked there now are, like... For, well, you like, see, I can remember studio flats, um, one one-bedroom flats at six grand. Yeah. You know? You're lucky to get a, like, we're asking, you're lucky to get a house for under 300,000, like, so... That's your yeah. problem, and if somebody's just starting out in a job or a young couple, where do you find 300,000? Exactly. So you really need, like, two incomes. To, or, to or we start paying the men more and they go back to work. Exactly, yeah. So, and like I said on my comment earlier, that, like I, me and my wife kind of like, pretty much split um, all the household type stuff um, regarding the kids. And, uh, you see, if you put the like women that. out to work, what you're actually doing, Beachy Beachy, is you're splitting the income. Yeah. So instead of paying the guy 25 grand, you're paying him 12 and you're paying her 12. Yeah. So nobody's actually any better off and the government's getting a lot more tax. Yeah, I suppose that, yeah. Um, and they're, and getting the, uh, to... they're getting the output from two people. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely need that nowadays, obviously, to, for the prices of food and water, everything well, I think these prices will come down. Uh, you know, the second people can't afford them, will either all just starve to death or these prices will have to come down. Yeah. You see, the gas companies that are doing a dance at the moment because they say we've managed to jack the price right up. 
Now, if everybody says, right, in that case, we're going to put on four jumpers and a bonnet and a scarf and a pair of Scotty McLean mitts and we're big boots and we're going to sit in the front room and we're going to talk round a candle or our dad's going to suck a hot sweet and we'll sit round his tongue and uh, that sort of stuff. And um, the next thing is the gas companies will be back begging us, please, please, please put on your heating or we're going to go out of business. Right. Well, let's make more than the gas in my house because my, my wife, she has the gas on, or the, or the heating on all year round. <laughs> all right. So, um, Good for I, you. I, that's one of the things that, like, we kind of go half and half with the mortgage, the gas, the electricity, the food, yeah. all that kind of thing. And like I say, if the both of us weren't working full time, um, we just wouldn't be able to afford to live. And you see, the government will be beside themselves that. coming out of Europe because they no longer have to have the high standards demanded by Europe. Yeah. And I had a guy yeah. with the weakest argument I've ever come across on social media. He says to me today, um, what, go back and have, I said we should rejoin the EU as soon as possible. He said, and have a dictator and no future for our children. Mm. Now, let me tell you, what future have we got for our children right now? Well, it's scary, yeah, definitely. You know, so, so you know, we are going to have to have some changes Things are going to have to change about here. Yeah, exactly. Um, I was wanting to touch on another thing um, a couple of uh, weeks ago. It was about grandparents watching like kids and stuff like that, or bringing up kids. Um, I think it's very important to obviously have that um, option to take it, like take your uh, kids to your grandparents, uh, yes. to your own parents, so they can watch. Yeah, but Obviously, what, what we've effectively got here is grandparents bringing up the children and they don't get to know their parents and their parents don't get to know their kids. Yeah, well, uh, my kids, they go to both mine and my wife's um, parents maybe like twice. So one week they'll have them for two days, like a Monday, Tuesday. And the following week, like my mum and dad would have them for Monday and Tuesday. Um, but if we never had that kind of support network, then we probably would have to not work full time. Um, yeah, and I mean, some grandparents are great about it, others put up with it. Um, some yeah. of them absolutely love it. But the problem is, you know, kids are smart. They'll play their parents off their grandparents. Yeah, they do. do you know, they'll say things like, what do you think you're doing? Having it? Grandpa always lets me. Yeah, but I think at the same time, it's kind of like watching yourself. Like, I learned a lot just listening to your show uh, over the last few weeks or a few months. Um, and there's things that I, that you talk about that I don't actually have a clue about, um, but I'm learning about it. And obviously there's things that my kids will learn off my parents, will learn off my wife's parents, um, stuff that maybe they've not said to us when we were young, but it's just a different learning kind of for them as well, which is good, I think. I think so, and uh, it's good to hear that, that the show is working with the education side as well as information and entertainment. Oh, definitely. Like, that's what my wife said to me, was like, who's that you're listening to? I was like, Scotty, I was like, oh, you need to listen to it. I said, there's plenty to talk about and learn about, so, yeah, I really enjoy your See, I, I, I love that attitude, because that's the right attitude. I mean, I am a lifelong learner, I don't know everything. I haven't even scratched the surface yet. But the good thing is, Scott, you don't talk nonsense, so... We try not to. We like a bit of banter, as you well know, but we try to get to the absolute truth. We try to get all the facts out there. Yes, definitely. You know, and at the well, moment, one of the reasons I just steer well clear of what's going on in the mainstream media is because there's just so many whoppers. Exactly, yeah. You actually, know? to be fair, since the pandemic and all that stuff, like, I don't actually watch the news anymore. Well, I don't think... I, I think, uh, unfortunately, the mainstream media is going to get the bill for Brexit and for uh, what they've done during the pandemic. Yeah. 
Yeah. And when I say get the bill, I'm not talking financially. I just think people are going to say, no, nah, I don't watch that anymore because I can't trust it. Well, that's a good thing about watching your shows, Scott, is the fact that you talk about stuff that we don't really need to hear about every day in life and stuff like that. We talk really about all the things that we used to talk about, things we'd talk about if we get together, blah, blah, blah. Everybody can hear it. So, you know, nobody's got any gripe saying he shouldn't be talking like that, blah, blah, blah. They can all hear it. So everything is up front. Everything's recorded, everything's there, it's all up on the channels, on the platforms. We are very careful, we never ever cross any lines. And uh, and I just think that's so important. And I think we are doing the job that uh, mainstream broadcasting was doing, say, 50 years ago. Yeah, definitely. You know, and if definitely I'm definitely talking definitely. nonsense, there's a whole world out there to correct me. And that's that's pretty good for checks and balances. Definitely. Somebody Sorry. said to me the other day, Beach, they said, what makes you think, who appointed you the spokesperson for the world? I said, the people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, you're doing a fantastic job, Scotty. Just keep it up. And I hope um, more and more um, listeners and people call in. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure that this will absolutely blossom and boom because it's just what people are looking for. But the problem is getting the message out there. I mean, I've got all you beautiful, beautiful people beside me, but I'm kind of on my Todd when it comes to organizing the whole thing, you know? Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about you at work and there's boys that um, older than me and I had never heard um, of you before, Scotty, um, until with TikTok and that kind of thing. But, um, I mean, I've said to a few boys at my work, they might well be listening to you tonight, or have done in the last few weeks. Didn't you do all the boys at Beach's work? Uh, <laughs> no, but you see, yeah, I think this is music to my ears because it means that Scotty McClue is going to the next generation. So when you say I hadn't heard of you... That's music to my ears. Yeah. You know, because you can't be doing something for 30 years and expect the next generation to know all about it. Well, that's it. That's and it. also Scotty. what I love about Scotty McClue's phone-ins is nobody goes, ah, oh, no, that's for the Algins. Yeah. This is not, it's this is a... for everyone. Yeah, definitely. Like I say, there's too much to... Um, learn just off of the older generation and that kind of thing as well and just like I said that's half the stuff you talk about uh, I've never I don't know anything you're talking about but I'm learning about it which is good as well so, Why should um, you I remember so, sitting in a tea room in the south of England with a top engineer this guy was huge he was very influential but he loved steam engines and I was asking him about a, an oscillating engine and I said to him, he said, I'll draw it for you. And he got a napkin. We were having a hand roll and a cup of tea. And he got a napkin and he started drawing the cylinder for me. And I said, I feel terrible. I should know this. He said, why should you? You're not an engineer. Yeah. And there was no kind of, are you a dafty? Because you don't know the basics and all that stuff. And he taught me. And it was fabulous. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's exactly what the show's doing for me anyway, Scotty, so keep up the good work. We're all every day is a school day, Beachy. That's that. Well, I'll let you go and get more callers. Um, Lovely talking to you, and dinky-doo to your lap. Yep, dinky-doo. See you, Beachy, all the best. Yes. What a talk, man. Amazing stuff. Right, what do we got here? Um, peel the tatties, boil the ham, greet the carrots, says Jerry. That's the stuff to give them. You're live on Scotty's for an in, who's that? Hello, Scotty, it's Raimondo Frifalka. Raimondo Frifalka, what a privilege and a joy to hear you. What's happening uh, in the real that? world? How, how are you tonight, my old friend? I am absolutely beside myself with the quality of the calls tonight. I am absolutely uh, beside myself with the way this phone-in's growing. You should 
be proud of yourself, pal. Well, no, I'm proud of all of you. It's taking off. You know, I'm it's taking off. Cold I cold. am only the catalyst. You are the people. I loved the call for B tonight. Oh, she was amazing. Because she it, told it like it is. And we love that. The, it, it, there's loads of sensitivities around the now. Too oh, much. Too much. We need more Ds. We need more Beachy Beaches. We need more Raimondos for Falkirk. We need more Scotty McClues. Absolutely. We need more Alice. We need more Jerry's. We need more Kareem's. The smell of soup would get you anywhere. See, see the smell of fresh baguette and lentil soup. Aye. You're right. Now, and come I'm, on. I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I'm phoning about the feminism thing, Scotty. Yes. So so the feminism, we suspect, it's a con. I, and I the women have it. fallen for it. They've been worked from the back. Well, they talk about this equal opportunities. Yes. Trying to give everybody the same chance. I'm, I'm a great believer. Give everybody the same chance. Just to it. let you know, so that you know, there is totally 100% zero misogynism in what I'm saying here. I would be quite happy if all the women want to take over all the jobs and the men can sit at home in the big white leather sofa popping chockies into their mouth and having coffee mornings. Yes. So would I if that was a choice. If that was their choice, I'd be quite happy because people say, we've not got enough women in the boardroom. Say, have a hundred percent women in the boardroom. Never mind equalities. Real equality means there's choice, no difference Scotty. between the guys and the girls. I don't think it would be their choice, so that's my... That's what I'm well, the ones about. I've talked to, it certainly would not because they all said to me, I, I said, what, are you enjoying being the chief exec? They said, well, it's... It's 80 hours a week, Scotty. It's 24-7 on the old text. And he said, but to be honest with you, I miss the wains. I miss the wains. And my mother and loves them. She's bringing them up. And I bet the wains miss her. Yes, of course they do. So it's all very well going about with the, the you know, the sip up the side skirt, the wee butterflies on the back of the shoes, the, 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 the dark tights, the white blouse, the hair all, uh, you know, glammed up, but at the end of the day, they're not playing with the wee ones and teaching them to read a book. And see, if, if, the, if they're looking for, the, all these feminists are looking for that equal opportunity. Absolutely, equal opportunity. We are so the women, brick wheels. Exactly, now you're talking. Where's all the women coal people? Aye. You can't pick and choose. You know, you've got the ladies going about shouting, cool, cool. And see, the thing is, Brick, uh, I, I'm no one you think, Scotty, uh, again, uh, I'm, but what I'm seeing is, if a woman wants to be a bricklayer, very good. Very good, absolutely. But I say hand freedom, over the lot. Freedom, freedom of choice. Freedom of choice. But we need freedom of choice for the men to stay in the house. Go about in the dressing gown till 10 o'clock and then pop on daytime TV. And we can, what we can do is put pressure on anybody no. to do things they don't want to do, like get into some fancy career. There's no, no stigma. There's no greater thing, actually, than bringing up a family. Now we are talking. Alan, what we've got here, somebody says, an outsider from a plain loaf Quality and lentil soup. Oh, oh, oh. I, 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 think, I think I might have a plain loaf in a cup of coffee. I think that might be too much for everybody. I think the plain loaves will be coming out now. You're right. Because as you see, see when you start talking about the food. Oh, that's Saturday that's night, a, it's tucking it's time. Keep it up, Scotty. Love you to bits, Raimondo. Love to Falkirk and to California. Speak to you soon, my pal. See you, Lala. Top call. There we are. To the telephones, guys. Schemes in place like working class credits and top your wage up.
Council tax benefit depends on wage. So there we have it. Soup or spag bowl made the night before tastes better next day. I'll take your word for that day. You will know. What else have we got? Off to the telephones. You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who is that? Hello, Scotty's Martin again. Martin again. Well, you're allowed two calls, Martin, so no problem. What's happening? Do you know a song called Oh, You Tanny Shove Your Granny Off a Bus? Oh, I used to sing it at the end of the show. I can't sing it on here in case it's copyrighted. I know, because I, I, I was in watching your video about five seconds ago. And right. I was in such a long chair. Now... <laughs> What we used to do at the end of the show, we used to say, it's a two minutes through the end. Anybody want to come on and sing the song? Now, yeah. in, a, in, in any normal world, you'd think, nobody's going to phone for that. The phone lines were jammed. And then uh -huh. somebody would join us to sing the song. They would come on and say, yeah. Scotty, can I sing the song? I'd say, well, you're a wee bit early. Do you want to phone back? Knowing fine, the poor soul. Wouldn't they have a chance of getting back on that night? Uh -huh. And I would love that. I mean, you see, you can do that on a radio station because they've got all the uh, licenses for the music. Yes. Yes, but uh, we used to sing that, and the song was usually You Can't Shove Your Granny Off a Bus, accompanied by uh, the Virginia Reel with the late, great Jimmy Shand. Uh-huh. See all the other Scot see all the songs like um Flower of Scotland, Van Rigg and all that and all I love all Scottish music. I like oh and and an and an other thing. Do you know about um do you know do you know about um DJ music, like how to do it to be a proper DJ? I've like been a I'm proper a DJ for years and years. What's the what's the top tips how to start it? Because my plans are I want to start one myself. Right. Right, well, the first thing that a DJ has to learn is uh, that it's not their music that matters, it's the songs that people love. Uh -huh. You know, they used to hire specialist DJs for their music, you know, uh, uh -huh. like, uh, like, like blues and stuff like that, rock music. You would hire a specialist DJ, but a DJ nowadays needs to sort of put their own sentiments and feelings and ideas on hold and play the playlist for the station. Yes. So find out what is being big and that would be your songs. Mm -hmm. And then you've got to make sure that you are seamless segueing between songs. You see, I started when we used to queue up our records. Mm -hmm. You know, you go, ooh, whoa. When you were queuing up your records, your songs. Yes. Fantastic. The other thing is you do a demo. Now you would do it in uh, just an MP3 and you would uh, email the stations. Uh -huh. So are you allowed to use your own music? Like if you've got albums, are you allowed to use your own music too? Or well, like you can do, but what I'm saying is that's not necessarily what the station will want or what the audience would want. Uh -huh. Well, the station want the same thing as the audience. Yes. And now you've got machines that actually pick the songs. So a program controller might just be somebody that sits at a desk putting songs into a computer. Yes. Whereas a program controller used to go out and hire human talent for their talent, for their personality and for their knowledge of music. Yes. And if you got a big audience by setting out your stall, they would up your salary. Wow. You see? See the thing with him, see the thing with Rachel too. Do you know all the stars like Chris Evans, yep. Ken Bruce, um, what's the other name? Um, Steve, Steve Wright. All these guys, Steve yeah. Wright. Fantastic. Great talent. Have you actually met them all? Uh, yes, yes, absolutely. I met Ken. Uh-huh. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, one of my friends is a great friend of, of Steve Wright's. Uh-huh. 
So it's, uh, it's all good stuff. You used to meet them all round the radio stations, meet them all at radio conferences. Cool. What about, have you been to any, have you been to any um, concerts like, the like concerts at the proms and all that. Oh, all the time, yes, absolutely. You see, the radio station gets tickets to go along, and uh, they will uh, let everybody know what's happening. And very often, all your top groups are in the radio stations doing interviews. Uh -huh. So I would look at my studio next door and think, "Oh my goodness, look who it is!" And there were huge names in the business. Uh -huh. And I saw an individual that you like playing the accordion. Yes, yes, we like playing the accordion. Yes, indeed. I am. I am saw that video as well. I was. I've been watching that back before I phoned you. And um, do you like dancing as well? Love dancing. Yes, absolutely. I don't do so much of it now, of course. Mm, I know. Yeah. Because your your videos are very interesting. Very interesting. Well, that's very kind of you to say so, Martin. Yes. So maybe maybe some point we can all meet up when you. Get a chance we can all meet up for dinner or something. Let's get this phone in going big style and then we might have a social occasion. Yes, hopefully. Touch, touch, Fantastic. Touch. Lovely talking to you, Dinky Doo. Okay, you too. Love you. You take care of yourself. Love you lots. Top man. There we are, guys. To the telephones as quickly as possible. Very busy. Scotch broth homemade soup says Susan. Winter soups, beachy, beachy, thank you for my beautiful TikToks. What a fabulous call. I'm just watching every day on TikTok here. Tremendous. Dinky do 3 a.m. chilling. Thank you. I'm glad you're joining. Beachy, beachy has sent me 30 beautiful TikToks on TikTok Live. Guys, can I ask every single one of you to get subscribing on the YouTube channel and to follow me on Twitch at Scotty underscore McClure. We need to get these figures moving upwards now. Big style. And uh, everybody that you know, get them to subscribe. There we are. Subscribe and tap the bell. Who's this? You're live on Scotty's phone end, dinky you do. Hi, Scotty. David, how are you? Okay? David, how lovely to hear. Do you know, I was thinking about you tonight. Don't panic. But I was thinking about you tonight, thinking, I wonder if David's okay. He hasn't he been on for a few nights? Yeah, well, I'm fine. No, I, I, I'm just listening to your, your, the new calls, which is really good, you know. People's coming in, which is really amazing, you know, Scotty, you know, stuff like that, you know, which is that's incredible, you know. A part of it, I was a bunch of weeks ago, and some women said the text David goes on and goes on. But anyway... No, listen, see kidding. these people having a go at you, David. They yeah. haven't called themselves, right? Because they I don't know. think they'll be able to call because yeah. they don't feel up to it. So what, the reason they're having a go at you... Is they yeah. wish they were you. Uh, that, that's the thing, I know, do you know what I mean? So it's, a, I, I, it's I, actually by insulting you or attempting to do so, I wouldn't let them. By attempting just, to insult you, yeah, they yeah. are actually uh, paying uh, you a compliment. We, we all know that. We, we, we all feel the same things, I mean. Yeah. You know, I, I even like, you know, like, uh, I don't know, like Natey Boys, they called you something awful. I don't know. And it wasn't normal. But anyway, I don't, I, I'm really worried about Natey Boys. Well, we're wondering, if Matey, we're wondering if Matey Boy might not be the full shilling. Yeah, well, that's true. But, but we don't actually say that really badly. I understand. Do you, do you get this? He's got this box shilling, but we don't need But you see, David, shilling. here's the question. Who yeah. says you've got to be the full shilling to phone Scotty exactly. McClure? Well, exactly. You see, it's a bit like the thought police. Yeah. Who is doing the dictating? Answer? Exactly. Nabdy. Yeah. yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, he, oh, but I, I won't go with that boy. I mean, that's just the way he is. He's that's actually, the way he is. is. And he has his moments. He can be very nice. Yes, of course. And again, do you actually know that boy do you like all that crack Scotty you know the lecture bill, you know yeah, do you? What what's that, sorry, David? Do you actually know Scotty do you like some matey boy Gilly Bill, do you? Yes. Well, I know of him, yes, I know Matey Boy has been calling for years and he is a very, very top professional. 
But he yeah, has I, his I, moments. I, I, have you, have you, have you, have you, have you have a musician, that check? Yes, yes, top organist. That's good then, of course. That's top organist, but you see, the sometimes they can know. just get a wee moment and be a wee yeah. bit irascible. There's a beauty. Ah, irascible, of course. Irascible. <laughs> hey, what am I, what did I just do there, you know? That's, that's amazing, Scotty. I mean, I've been busy recently, so I, I was born in really late, Scotty, you know what I mean? You no know, bother, really late, David. You know. It's just lovely to hear from you. We were speaking about Beast, about, about uh, my old picture, how she just go, about the ice cream people. Oh, yes. Right, right. I, I, I was there then, in the old days, because I'm really old, right? Yes. <laughs> I get really <laughs> old. Listen to you. David, we're going to tell you this. Here's the lovely Anita Page. Saying, yeah. Susan, I would love your scotch broth soup recipe. You can oh. find me on Facebook. Um, I, I thought you could find me in the FBI, she said there, but it's Facebook plus an exclamation right. mark. Now, Anita right. is in California. California Falkirk? No, California, oh, California. California, right. California. Oh, Scotty, I was even, I, my neighbours beat me at home, made little soup every week, my neighbours, but tiger rolls are beautiful. Fantastic, we love it. Oh, Scotty, I love my little, little soup. Me and John make it every Sunday. Oh, stop, stop. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, Listen, yes, David, yes. it's a joy hearing you again. I'm so glad you're okay. Yeah. And I'm thank you for your son. support. I am chuffed to bits how this Great is going. Son. Right, you take care and carry on regardless. God bless you, sir. Dicky, do. You too, son. Bye-bye. Top bye -bye. man. Bye-bye, David. Bye -bye, bye -bye, Lovely bye -bye. fellow. There we go. Fantastic. That's what it's all about. Opportunity. A Ricky Fulton what? They were, well, Opportunity. Neil, as you'll know, was actually, um, it was a Francie and Josie what? The we've had the Opportunity. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who is that? Hello, Scotty. How are you getting on tonight? Who have we got? It's Kenneth from Kilsyth again. Scotty. Oh, Please Kenneth from Kilsyth. Lovely to hear you. How are you getting on tonight? Fantastic, Kenneth. What a brilliant phone in tonight. Oh, it's been absolutely smashing. I've been on the edge. You know, the, phones, the phones are on fire. Ringing right off the hook. Scotty, I tell you, right There's Anita's telling me, Dinky Doo, Scotty, it's me out in California, but missing the autumn of New York. Yeah. So happy to see you. Isn't she fabulous? Oh, yes, absolutely. I'm just saying, Scotty, what a great caller, great amount of callers you've had on tonight. Oh, Especially Big Ray Mondo Free Big Ray Mondo Free Falkirk, Big yes, Ray Mondo Free Falkirk. and your good He's self. He is a character, and your good self, of course. Yes, I Let's mean, have it straight. Not. The old Falkirk is just along the road for me. You can't um, beat the old Falkirk. And that place I was telling you about is called Lime Rig. Lime Rig? Yeah. Ah, here, I tell you, Scotty, I hear you talk about lentil soup there. Oh, are we not just? The old soup. But I tell you, Scotty, and this is one to ask your viewers as well, right? Go on. Do you know think that sometimes I right good big pot of homemade soup actually sometimes tastes better on the second day. Second day soup, absolutely. Because there used to be a wee joke about some poor soul arrived from the desert, just nearly dead on his feet, and he was begging, he went, food, food. And the guy says, are you okay with second day soup? He says, ah, he says, well, you need to come back in the morning, it's not ready yet. <laughs> oh, that's a bit of that, Scotty. <laughs> What's that like? <laughs> You better come back tomorrow because I'm going to go and cut it on now. <laughs> We're getting Scott's adverts here all that way for a chicken. Yes, indeed. I will. We're doing the adverts. Do you remember that? And Lovely Biscuits was Jimmy Logan uh, advertising Simmer's Biscuits, I think. Aye, aye, Scotty. Wonderful. Listen, I'm going to have to go. We're out of That's time. It. Dinky hey, do, Lala. Top man. Top man. Oh, we need to go, folks. We're out of time. I'm going to have to say bye-bye to the TikTokers. Night, night, lovely.